Good day, mates. It's Tamo from Toowoomba. <laughs> oh, actually, it's Tamo, Tamo from Costco in Ipswich. But uh, but I came from Toowoomba, <laughs> and uh, you can see the mask. I am about to uh, I'm about to go to Costco, and you know, having Costco in Australia really is a um, oh I don't know if I would call it a godsend. But uh, it's the only place that you can get the bicky, you know, the bicky, the good bicky, the good bicky with the, with the uh, anus, anus flavor. That's, uh, or is it anise? Anise? Anus? Anus? Anise? Anise? I think anise. But anyway, so I'm here at uh, Costco. It's a Sunday afternoon. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you that it's a little bit... Um, you know, I've been uh, I've been in Queensland now for the better part of a month already. It's been a month. Boy, time flies. It's actually been longer than a month. It's been probably a month and a half that I've been in Queensland. And Queensland is one of uh, several states in Australia that, year to date, has done knock on wood quite well with the with the whole COVID thing in comparison to a lot of other places in Australia. But uh, we just started having uh, some, some concerns, some issues, we being uh, Queenslanders, just started having some issues with a community spread issue. Apparently somebody, uh, a, a person in their 70s, spent the last week going to work uh, sick. And that person tested positive for COVID. And, and now, uh, you know, a lot of people in Queensland are, uh, are on edge because uh, they, they had nine cases of, 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 of COVID um, overnight, which is, that's unheard of, you know, here. I mean, they, they usually they'd have maybe one case or two cases here or there. But uh, the fact that they had nine cases uh, overnight is not, uh, you know, it's not a good thing. So I am in uh, Ipswich. This is about uh, an hour outside of Toowoomba. And it's the closest Costco, and this area actually right here is in uh, it's in restriction as of last night or this morning or something. They they put this whole area. This is Greater Brizzy. Um, they put the whole area in uh, in in I guess under restrictions or something. And I don't know what all the restrictions are, limiting you know limiting gatherings of people to ten and you know all that kind of stuff. I don't see people walking around with mask on but I still have my mask and uh, I've got some rubber gloves so I'm gonna be you know it's better to err on the side of caution always always better to err on the side of caution so I'm gonna see if I can't get in and get out of Costco and in doing so stock up on some good stuff so I thought I'd bring you along for a uh, <laughs> those of you who have never, never been to Costco you know, I thought I'd bring you along and uh, share the share the experience with you. So let's go uh, let's go do some uh, Sunday afternoon shopping at Costco and see if I can't find some Bicky. And uh, oh, my my house guest or my house uh, my landlord, uh, I got to get some stuff for my landlords. I got to get some veggie chips, and they want some uh, powdered milk or or something like that. We'll figure it all out. So let's let's go shopping at Costco. All right, and here we go. You know, traveling around the world, it's always a beautiful sight. When you're traveling around, you see the American flag. And uh, right up there, you know, right up there with the American flag, seeing a Costco sign when you're overseas, oh my goodness gracious, it's kind of just like that. So here we go. And I don't, uh, I see some folks wearing masks. All of the uh, all of the Costco employees I see are wearing masks. So let's go on inside and shop till I shop till I drop. Thank you. All right. So I was thinking it might be really crowded in here, and it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be overwhelmingly crowded, but. We're just going to, I'm not going to lollygag in here too much. I'm going to get what I need and uh, get what I need and, and find my way, find my way back home. 
back to uh, Toowoomba. So, anyway, let's, uh, I gotta find the Bicky first. Alright, so here's the first thing that I, I don't need, but I'm gonna buy. You see, this is the, uh, the ultimate bang for your buck. It's a filter for your, uh, filter for your, your cell phone camera. You see? So when I'm doing my videos out with my phone, I can just clip this on and it'll give me a, give me a wide, a wide angle. So not something that I need, but uh, it looks pretty cool. It's $28.49 and I'd have to convert that to American dollars, but it's about 70% of that. So probably about 20 bucks for that little filter. So just kind of work my way through the through the electronics department and interestingly enough I don't see a lot of people here today which is pretty uh, pretty cool I'm glad I'm glad that I there's not a lot of people here so I'm just gonna kind of browse around a little bit of this stuff before I go get what I do need which is Bicky all right this will give you an idea as to how uh, how busy it is here Sunday afternoon and actually I thought that it would have been a lot busier but uh, right now I need to find my Bicky and uh, my Bicky have got to be around here somewhere I think I think the Bicky are in this area Boy, it's tempting not to want to buy some of this other stuff but uh, right now all I'm looking for and all I'm interested in are my Bickies and uh, God forbid they don't have any uh, God forbid they don't have any bickies that would be that boy that that would be a disaster but somewhere around here somewhere around here they've got to have bickies I'll find them come hell or high water I'll find the bickies all right so the cart is starting to full up as you can see and uh, I should say fill up and before it gets too filled, I thought I'd share with you some of what I got. My uh, landlord, bless her heart, Nancy, she loves these veggie crisp. So I'm getting some veggie crisp for her. And then we've got the albacore. And you see, that's always good for a sandwich. This is something that I'm going to buy that's a little bit different. I'm going to buy some apple cider vinegar. And uh, I saw it. This is kind of an impulse buy. It's like five dollars or something, you know, something like that. And it says to put a little bit of this in some water every day before a meal as a as a supplement. And then I've got my uh, my Dijon, you know, my Dijon uh, mustard. And then coming down here, look at this. I got myself some udon premium noodle. You see, a little noodle. Got my new myself a new pair of jeans. Okay, I've got. I needed a, a new pair of jeans, so don't look at the size, okay? Don't look at the, no, don't look at the size. You didn't see that, okay? Get that size out of your mind. Forget that size, okay? I'm working on it, as my dad used to say. That's what my dad used to always say when I, I'd ask him if he wanted ice cream and I, and uh, what have you, he'd say he's working on it. I got some honey mustard snack mix. This stuff is pretty good. It's probably not pretty good for you, but it's still pretty good. And then, uh, what else did I get? You see some protein bars? These are a good little snack when I'm walking out in the door in the morning to go watch the sunrise. I don't have time for breakfast. And uh, this is something here, I don't know. I may keep it, I may not. We will uh, popcorn snack. You see, sweet and salty. And then I got myself a couple pillows. You see, got myself some nice white duck feather pillow. Now, I don't know if that's politically correct to buy a white duck pillow, you know, because I don't know. I, I don't even know if there's, <clears throat> I don't even know if there's black ducks, okay? So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and, and just, just get the white duck. I'm not going to ask them if they've got black duck pillows, but uh, let's, uh, let's continue, continue shopping. There's no shortage of stuff here to buy. All right, continuing on, look at, I got some, uh, some red lentils, 100% Aussie. And uh, I took that other soup back and I got this package of spicy beef pho, you can see. Now, you know what? I think I smell a biscotti. 
a bicky. I think this is the bicky aisle. You see? It's got to be. This has got to be the bicky aisle. I see some crepes. You see, there's some crepes. Somewhere around here, there's some cracker chips. No, I don't want the cracker chips. I want bicky. Somewhere around, oh, look at this. No, oh, this reminds me of a day gone past. You see the Stroop, Stroop waffles from, uh, from Howland, okay? That would be tempting. It'd be tempting to get some of those, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm looking for the bicky. Somewhere in this aisle have gotta be some bicky. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. No shortage of Bicky. Will you look at that? I'll be darned. That is, that's what I wanted. You know? Wow. I'm going to stock up on these. Okay? Yeah. It's only $20 for a Bicky. Wow. Fantastic. Oh, that's incredible. I've never seen. I, you know what? You don't know how long this whole thing is going to last. I've just got to... There you go. Okay. Wow. Okay. How many do I got now? One, two, three. Holy cow. All right. Let's take a few more. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. There we go, folks. I think I got enough. Bicky, that should last me for a while. Those Bicky, there you go. That is, that's what I'm talking about. Fantastic. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. People are going to think I'm crazy. I'm going to become known as the Bicky man. Okay, should I? Now, you know, my mom loves teddy bears. And I'm walking by, and I'm thinking to myself, can you imagine my mother back in East Lake, Ohio, hearing a knock on the door to see one of these waiting to, uh, to greet her. I don't know how I would, uh, I don't know how in the world I would, you know, ship this. Maybe I could, when I fly home, I could just buy an extra seat next to me, you know, and say, excuse me, this seat is taken, you know. But uh, look at this. Oh, goodness gracious. You know, you, you just got to love you just like, gotta love Costco. You see? Look at that. Alright, so, you know, I've got, uh, <laughs> I think I need a second cart. And I haven't even hit the, uh, the meat or the fruit yet. You know, all of the, uh, the other stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out. I'm gonna check out and, uh, and go put all this stuff in the car. And then, uh, and then come back and, and hit up the, uh, the meat and the, and the fruit and the, and the produce and all that good stuff. Look what I got for the little dogs or the Zulu. You see what I'm going to bring Zulu and, uh, and Zoe? I'm bringing them a, uh, bringing them a pack of, uh, of dog toys. They're always fighting over the same little toy. So let's go uh, check out and then I'm going to come back and do another round. All right, here we go. Round, uh, round two, going through, and uh, now it's time for the, now it's time for the produce and the uh, produce and the meat, and maybe the teddy bear. No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can swing the teddy bear. But uh, boy, you know, you gotta love the samples here at Costco. My dad, my dad used to love the samples. He used to. He used to live for the samples going to Costco. And uh, you know, as I was walking through here, I found myself thinking way back, way back in the day, I was, well, more times than not, I was always one of the ones that would go shopping with mom. Every, uh, I think it was every, every, every other Thursday or every other Friday, we'd go to the, go to the grocery store. And then uh, every other Saturday, we'd go to the um, oh, we'd go to the uh, West Side Market in Cleveland, and uh, you know I learned a lot about a shop from uh, 
just being my mom's sidekick. I was always at my mom's side when I was a, a little kid. And uh, a lot of what I learned back then I've, uh, has carried over with me into my adulthood. So mom, if you're uh, watching this, boy, I remember, I remember those days shopping with you back at, uh, at Heinen's in Northeast Ohio and the West Side Market, having you tell me to go find my father. But, uh, and look at me now here in the land down under, shopping at, uh, shopping at Costco. All right. You know, one of the cool things about being at Costco overseas is they've got a completely different selection. Like we're, we're closer to Asia over here. So you'll see a lot of, uh, you'll see a lot of food, you know, with a, uh, like an Asian, uh, Asian flair, like seaweed salad. You know, you probably wouldn't see that in America. Or what is this? Sweet and spicy, oh, I don't know how the hell to pronounce that. Tioki Boki Baki or something like that, you know. But uh, cauliflower rice, you see, you just have all types of, you have your Asian, Asian stuff. Duck breast pancake breakfast kit or duck, duck breast, duck breast pancake kit, you know. So I'm more of a legs man than a, uh, than a breast man, so if they had a duck, you know, like a duck legs or or something like that. Now there's a guy that's got the, uh, he's got the teddy bear going on, you see. So, let's see, I'm looking for, uh, next thing I'm kind of looking for is some, uh, I'm looking for some kimchi. They'll have, they'll have kimchi here somewhere. And, uh, I'll see, maybe I'll get myself some some Persian feta or something like that but I like the I like the kimchi there you go look at that there is your kimchi for those of you that have never had kimchi oh this stuff is just to die for look at that see and there's mama-san that's mama-san right there you see Korean traditional fermented vegetables. I think I'll get two of those. Yeah. So we'll get two of the uh, two of the kimchi. I'll pass on the Korean noodles. So. All right. This is where the uh, self-control kicks in. You see, it's so tempting to want to get yourself, you know, something from here. But uh, 90 90 percent of the time, 99 percent of the time. I forgo the temptation to grab myself a uh, something like this. And boy, it sure looks tempting, doesn't it? You know? But that's probably three, four, five hundred calories, each one of those. And that's just not something that, uh, not something that I can afford, you know? Or get a fresh chocolate, whatever, whatever that is. But it all looks, uh, boy, it just all looks so good. You know, get yourself a nice, uh, maybe a nice muffin or something like this. You see, it's tempting. You know, you want to do it. You want to do it, but you just know better. You know, like a, a butter pound muffin six pack. You know, look at that. I mean, does that look good or what? Oh, goodness gracious. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It'll make going down to watch the sunrise every morning up and down those hills all the, all the much tougher. Now we're talking. This is, uh, <laughs> this is really where you want to be. You see? Look at this. These are, this is nature sweets. Blueberries. Grab yourself some, uh, some blueberries to put in your morning, uh, morning cereal there. And uh, boy, look at this big thing of big thing of strawberries. You see, boy, that looks nice. This is nature sweets right here. You know, this is what you want to have are these uh, these kind of strawberries. Four ninety nine in America. That's uh, probably about three dollars and seventy cents for something like that. But uh, what else do I want to get here? I want to grab myself. Maybe a small bag of uh, small bag of peppers. 
for the evening salad. And uh, what else? Somewhere in here they gotta have the lettuce. I'm sure they've got I'm sure they've got the lettuce in here somewhere. Ooh, and you gotta have the, the, the mushrooms. Definitely can't, you know, I, I can't get enough uh, can't get enough mushrooms. Everything here you see, a lot of the stuff you see is product of Australia. You see just a lot of product of Australia. Not quite sure where in Australia, but there's some nice uh, nice cauliflower that you can get. Some nice fresh broccoli. So maybe I'll grab some of that. Some nice fresh fresh broccoli. You just gotta love Costco. You know, I mean, you really do. You just gotta love Costco. All right, so round two is in the bag, or I should say in the cart. And let's uh, take an inventory here. We got some beautiful apples. You see, I got some nice bananas. The great Australian juice, some orange juice with pulp. You know, if it doesn't have pulp, why are you gonna buy it? I have some uh, nice basil pesto. Sweet potato and kale, couscous. I know what Mark in Michigan is thinking. He's thinking, Tommy, that's my, that's my boy, you know. Got the broccoli, the kimchi, cauliflower. Down there I have a little uh, basil penne chicken breast. Some roast pumpkin and sage ravioli, you see. Up here, what do we got? We got the mushrooms. These are always nice, you know, these little things here. Just ready to eat little packages of potatoes that you can heat up. And then the salad mix and, uh, oh, unless I forget what's in the bag. What do we got in the bag here? Oh, yeah, sweet potato fries or chips. They call them chips down here. We would call them fries. Some more veggies. Okay, I got some, some veggies and some... Uh, what is this? Lentil and carrot burgers. You see? I don't mess around, folks. Lentil and carrot burgers. All right, let's get this uh, show on the road. Oh, and how could I forget the flowers? You know, the lovely, the lovely Nancy. I brought her some flowers the first time I checked in a month ago. And I got her these lilies. And she just absolutely loved them. So I'm going to pick up some uh, some lilies for Nancy there you go and let's uh, now let's get the show on the road all right and off we uh, off we go you know every Costco almost every Costco is the same with some slight variations you know why re why reinvent the wheel and uh, off uh, off we go back to uh, back to Toowoomba now this is what I need right here. You see, that's what I should bring home. I should have that delivered back to uh, back to Toowoomba.